Vidur College, Grade 4, Mathematics, Adding Numbers, Part 1. Today, we are going to learn how to add the numbers from unit to tens and add the numbers by carrying over from tens to hundreds. This is a very interesting lesson and from this lesson, you will learn how to add numbers with three digits very easily. Okay. Let's start the lesson with adding the numbers from unit to tens. This is the first step of adding numbers. Look at these number blocks. These blocks will help you to add the given numbers. First, we will name the digits according to their place value. Let's take an example. I think you have learned about this part in your previous max lesson, the understanding numbers. Look at the first line. In there, you can see hundred, tens and units. Let's count the blocks. First, we will start from units. There are seven units and three tens and two hundred blocks. So, we can read the number two hundred and thirty-seven. Remember, we should use and. Let's go to the next one. You can count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 8 units. And 1 tens, 100. So the number is 118. Good job, children. Let's go to add 3 digit numbers. Here, First, I will explain the example given in this slide. First number is 137. Second number is 218. Now we have to add these two numbers and find the total. Let's go to add these numbers. Before we start adding numbers, let's copy this sum in your max writing book. Remember, when you are writing numbers, one digit for one square and don't forget to write the place value also. You can copy the numbers according to their place value. Okay, now we have finished writing this sum. Let's go to find the answer. When you are adding two numbers, you must start from units from right side. 7 plus 8 equal 15 but you can't write both digits in the same place because there is only one digit can write under units so in 15 we keep 5 under units and carry that one to the tens this is calling regrouping what is regrouping Regrouping means spills the digits and put them in different places. So now you can see there are three digits in tens. One, three and one. Now you have to add all these three digits. Let's add them. One plus three plus one equal five. The answer is five. So we write number five under tens. Let's go to our final step, hundreds. In hundreds, you have to add 1 plus 2. The answer is 3. So, the final answer is 355. Okay, children. Now you can see there are 10 sums. I will help you to find the answer for the first one. Let's go to the first sum. 133 plus 248. Do we need to regroup? Yes, because in units 3 plus 8 equal to 11, which is a double digit number. Remember, our first step is adding the units. But if the sum is a double digit number, that means we need to regroup. Let's go ahead and finish the problem. When we regroup, we spill the digits. 
So the first number one carries into tens and the other one stays down under the units. Next we will go to tens. One plus three plus four. What is the answer? Eight. We write eight under the tens. Next we will go to hundreds. One plus two. The answer is three. We write number three under hundreds. So the final answer is 381. So now I will give you the chance to find the answers for these given sums. Pause the video and copy the sums into your max writing book and find the answers. After finishing this activity, play the video again and check your answers. Let's see who is going to finish this activity quickly. Okay children, let's check your answers. First, we will find the answer for the second sum. In the second sum, you have to add 418 plus 318. What is the answer? 736. Let's go to the third one. There are two numbers that you have to add, 225 with 446. What is the answer for the third one? 671. Let's go to the next one. 104 plus 539. The answer for the fourth one is 643. Let's go to the fifth one. 348 plus 302. The answer is 650. Let's go to the next one. 657 plus 135. The answer for the sixth one is 792. Seventh sum. You have to add 605 with 308. The answer for the seventh one is 913. Let's go to the eighth one. 526 plus 244. Answer is 770. Ninth one. 458 plus 223. What is the answer? Yes, 681. Let's go to our last sum. You have to add 829 with 35. Okay, first we have to add units. 9 plus 5. What is the answer? Yes. 14. We write 4 under the units and carry that 1 to the tens. So there are 3 digits under the tens. 1 plus 2 plus 3. What is the answer? Yes, 6. We write 6 under the tens. Then we will go to the hundreds. There is only one digit under the hundreds. It's 8. So we'll take that 8 as the answer. Final answer is 864. Good job children. Keep it up. Let's go to the next question. Okay my dear children. Let's go to our next activity. What you can see in this slide? Yes, you can see there are two flags. What do you have to do with these two flags? Yes, there are some numbers in these flags. You have to pick one number from each flag at a time and add them together. You can make eight such sums using the numbers given in the flags. I will explain you how to do that activity. First, we will read the numbers. You can read with me. 147 356 509 Let's go to the 
other flag. 409, 317, the last number is 38. You have to use these numbers to make 8 such sums. Now, look at the example. I have picked two numbers from these flags. First one is 38 and the other one is 356. Now, I am going to add these two numbers. First, I will start from units. 8 plus 6. What is the answer? Yes, 14. Now, I am writing 4 under units and carry that 1 to tens. Now, there are 3 digits under tens. 1 plus 3 plus 5. The answer is 9. Now, I am writing 9 under tens. Next, I am going to hundreds. There is only one digit, that is 3. So, I write 3. The final answer is 394. This is very enjoyable and easy activity. You have to pick one number from each flag at a time and add them together. You can make 8 such sums using the numbers given in these flags. Ok children, after finishing that activity, next we are going to add the numbers by carrying from the tens to hundreds. It's also the same way like the earlier one. First, we will write the digits according to their place value. Let's take the first line. How many units are there? 1, 2, 3. There are 3 units. How many tens are there? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. There are 5 tens. In the hundredth place, you can see 200. So, we can read that number 253. Let's go to the next line. How many units are there? Yes, there are 5 units. How many tens are there? There are 6 tens. How many hundreds are there? There is only 100. So, we can read that number as 165. Next, we are going to add these two numbers. Let's see how to find the answer. Ok children, after writing these two numbers in your max writing book, let's find the answer. 253 plus 165. How to find the answer? It's also the same way like the earlier one. First, we will start from the right side and we can add 3 plus 5. The answer is 8. We write 8 under the units. Next, we are going to add tens. 5 plus 6. The answer is 11. It's a double digit number. So, we write 1 under the tens and carry the other one to the hundreds. Now you can see there are three digits under the hundreds. 1 plus 2 plus 1. The answer is 4. The final answer is 418. Addition is very easy if you practice it daily. Now you can see there are another 8 sums. Let's see how to find the answers for these 8 sums. As the previous one, you can pause the video and copy these sums into your max writing book and find the answers. After writing the answers, you can play the video again and check your answers. Ok children, it's time to check your answers. Let's find the answer for the first one. You have to add 453 and 200. 95. So, first we'll start from the right side, from the units. You have to add 3 and 5. 3 plus 5 equal to 8. We write 8 under the units. Next, we are going to add the tens. 5 plus 9. It's 14. It's a 
double digit number. Now what we should do? Yes, the tens and carry that one to the hundreds. One plus four plus two. What is the answer? Yes, it's seven. We write seven under hundreds. So the final answer is 748. Let's go to the second sum. In the second one, you have to add 579 with 150. What is the answer? Yes, 729. Let's go to the third one. 378 plus 431. The answer is 809. Next, 593 plus 322. The answer is 915. Let's go to the fifth one. 560 plus 370. Look at that numbers. Yes, in the units you can see there are two zeros. So, 0 plus 0 equal to 0. So, we write 0 under the units. Then, we have to add 6 plus 7. What is the answer? Yes, it's 13. So, we write 3 under tens and carry that 1 to the hundreds. 1 plus 5 plus 3. What is the answer? Yes, it's 9. So, the final answer is 930. Let's go to the sixth one. 273 plus 386. The answer for the sixth question is 659. Let's go to the seventh one. Now, you have to add 440 with 385. The answer is 825. Let's go to our last sum. 574 add with 272. What is the answer for the last question? Yes, 846. Remember, if you find a double digit number in addition, what you have to do? Yes, you have to regroup tens or hundreds. Then you can find the answer very easily. So, my dear children, let's go to a different question. Okay, my dear children, imagine that you are going with your mother to a shop to buy some beads to make a necklace for your concert. These jars shown below contain five different colored beads in each. What are the colors? Red, blue, green, yellow and purple. Now I will ask some questions from you all. How many beads are there in the red jar? Yes, it's 84. How many beads are there in the yellow jar? Yes, it's 590. How many beads in the blue one? Yes, it's 281. How many beads in the purple one? 325. How many beads in green jar? Yes, 333. Okay, my dear children, let's go to the question number one. The shopkeeper wants to know the sum of beads in the red and blue jars. So, you have to add these two numbers to find the total of these beads. First, you have to write the statements. Let's write the statements. Number of beads in red jar equal 84. Number of beads in blue jar equal 281. Now, you have to add these two numbers. 84 with 281. First, we can start from units. 
4 plus 1. It's equal 5. Next, we can go to the tens. 8 plus 8. The answer is 16. But you can't write 16. So, you write 6 under tens and carry that 1 to the hundreds. So, 1 plus 2 equal 3. The final answer is 365. The sum of the beads in the red and blue jars is 365. So, let's go to the second question. What would be the total number of beads in the yellow jar if you add the purple beads into it? Now we have to put the purple beads into the yellow jar. Let's write the statements. Number of beads in the yellow jar equal 590. Next one, number of beads in the purple jar equal 325. Now you have to add these two numbers. Let's start from units. 0 plus 5 equal 5. Next, we are going to add tens. 9 plus 2. What is the answer? It's 11. We put 1 under the tens and carry the other one to the hundreds. 1 plus 5 plus 3. What is the answer? Yes, it's 9. So, the final answer is 915. The total number of beads in the yellow jar equal 915. Okay, children, let's go to the last question from this part. You have to find whether the total of the green and blue beads is more or less than the total of red and yellow beads. For that, first you have to add the total of green and blue beads and then you have to add the total of red and yellow beads. Then you have to compare the numbers and find what is more and what is less? Okay, let's start writing the answers. The total of green and blue beads 333 plus 281 equal 614. Next, we are going to add the total of red and yellow beads 84 plus 590 equal 674. Now we have to find the final answer. The total of green and blue beads equal 614. The total of red and yellow beads equal 674. So according to the answers, the highest number is 674. So, we can write the answer, the total of green and blue beads is less than the total of red and yellow beads. So, my dear children, today you have learned how to add the numbers from unit to tens and add the numbers by carrying over from tens to hundreds. So, now you can see there are 12 sums. You can copy down these sums into your max writing book and find the answers as the earlier you can pause the video and do the activity after that you can play the video again to check your answers okay let's see you with the answers okay my dear children shall we check the answers okay let's go to the first sum you have to add 113 with 447. The answer is 360. Second one, 458 plus 260. The answer is 718. Let's go to the third one. 404 plus 258. The answer is 662. Let's go to the fourth one. 
309. The answer is 912. Remember, if there's two digit number, you have to regroup them. Let's go to the fourth one. 523 plus 294. The answer is 817. Sixth one. 516 plus 366. The answer is 882. Let's go to the seventh one. 256 plus 371. The answer is 627. Let's go to the eighth one. 633 plus 286. The answer is 919. Okay. Let's go to the ninth one. In there, you have to add 746 with 25. The answer is 771. Let's go to the 10th one. You have to add 42 with 197. The answer is 239. Let's go to the 11th one. You have to add 598 with 70. The answer is 668. Okay, the final sum. You have to add 734 with 190. The answer is 924. Check the answers for these all 12 sums. This is the last part of the adding numbers. In this, you have to write the statements and find the answers for these given questions. Now, I will help you to find the answer for the first question and I will explain you how to write the statements. Then, it's your chance to write the answers for the second, third, fourth and fifth questions by yourself. After that, we can discuss the answers. So let's go to the first question. 475 ergonauts were plucked from one tree and another 341 ergonauts were plucked from another tree. How many ergonauts were plucked from both trees? Now we have to add these two numbers. First we will write the statements. The number of ergonauts plucked from one tree equal 475. The number of ergonauts were plucked from another tree equal 341. Now you have to add these two numbers 475 with 341. As usual, we will start from units 5 plus 1 equal 6. 7 plus 4, what is the answer? It's 11. We put one under the tens and carry the other one to the hundreds. So, 1 plus 4 plus 3, it's equal 8. So, the final answer, the total number of ergonauts plucked from both trees equal 816. Okay, now it's your chance to find the answers for the second, third, fourth and fifth questions by yourself. After writing the answers by yourself, let's discuss the answers. You can check your answers with me. Let's find the answer for the second question. There are 278 students in grade 3 and 281 students in grade 4 in a school. How many students are there in both grades altogether? First, we will write the statements. You can write the number of students in grade 3 equal 278, the number of students in grade 4 equal 281. Now you have to add 
these two numbers. 278 plus 281. As usual, let's start from units. From the right side, 8 plus 1 equal 9. 7 plus 8 equal 15. We write 5 under 10s and carry that 1 to the 100 because it's two digit number. Then we are going to add hundreds. 1 plus 2 plus 2 equal 5. So we can write the final answer like this. The number of students in both grades is 559. Let's move to the third question. There were 605 books on a shelf in a library and another 185 books were kept by the librarian on the shelf. How many books are there on the shelf now? You have to add these two numbers. First, we'll write the statements. The number of books on a shelf equal 605. Next, you are going to write the number of books which kept by the librarian equal 185. Now you have to add these two numbers. 5 plus 5 equal 10. You put 0 under the units and carry that 1 to the 10s. 1 plus 0 plus 8 equal 9. Then you are going to add the 100. 6 plus 1 equal 7. So you can write the final answer like this. The number of books on the shelf is equal 790. So it's time to find the answer for the fourth question. If there are 178 and 118 passengers in two adjacent train compartments, how many passengers are traveling in both compartments? First, you have to write the statements. The number of passengers in one compartment, 178. The next statement is the number of passengers in another compartment equal 118. Now you have to add these two numbers. Let's add these two numbers, 178 plus 118. First, we will start from units. 8 plus 8 equal 16. You write 6 under the units and carry that 1 to the tens. 1 plus 7 plus 1. It's equal 9. You write 9 under the tens. Then we are moving to the hundreds. 1 plus 1 equal 2. So the final answer is 296. You can write the answer like this. The number of passengers which travel in both compartments is equal to 296. Okay, my dear children, it's our last question. 480 raw mangoes and 168 ripened mangoes were heaped up on the ground. How many mangoes are there in the heap altogether? So, let's write the statements. First, you can write the number of raw mangoes equal 480. Next, you can write the number of ripened mangoes equal 168. Then you have to add these two numbers. First, we will start from the units. 0 plus 8 equal 8. Next, we are going to tens. 8 plus 6 equal 15. You have to write 5 under 10s and carry that 1 to the 100s. In there, you have to add 1 plus 4 plus 1 equal 6. So, the final answer is 658. So, you can write the answer like this. The total mangoes in the heap equal 658. Okay, my dear children, check your answers again. Uh, today you have learned how to add the numbers from unit to tens and add the numbers by carrying over from tens to hundreds. Complete all the activities in your writing book. 
that's the end of the lesson today. See you soon with another interesting Max lesson. Stay safe and have a nice day.